What's up, YouTube? I'm G Infinite. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, one of the most infamous uh, fighters in Marvel Universe, Taskmaster. So I'll be getting into the Toy Biz Taskmaster, and I'll also be talking about the two different types that Hasbro broke out of Taskmaster. So I hope you enjoy. This is the episode on Taskmaster. All right, guys. So the first figure that today I'm going to be discussing is the um, Taskmaster that came with the Build-A-Figure Red Skull. Uh, this Taskmaster actually came with the headpiece to the Build-A-Figure of Red Skull. Um, really, really quick, what I like about this Taskmaster, and I'm going to get directly into it, is the two different types of head sculpts. Um, the They gave him one with a white hoodie and the other one with a navy blue hoodie, and they're both interchangeable. Um, here I have two Taskmasters out, so you can see the two different types. Um, the first one over here with the navy blue um, hoodie, that one is very, very cool. It looks more like uh, the robot kind of version of Taskmaster. Uh, the face has the lines going down, the eyes are yellow, and it has that metallic color. And then, of course, the, the whole outfit has that the patterns of silver and navy blue. And of course, the you can see the logo of the Taskmaster on the belt there. And of course, he has the two pistols on the side straps, which is really, really cool. And what I like is that he has the flaming sword. There you see the sword, uh, usually the lights up um, when he takes it out. And that's normally uh, what Taskmaster fights with. Uh, Taskmaster, who's a trained assassin and trained other assassins, um, has learned how to copy other people's moves. And that's what makes him such a, a tough opponent um, for anyone, such as uh, those characters that he has fought in the Marvel Universe, like Spider-Man, Deadpool, Captain America. So ta this Taskmaster, really nice. I like that the fact that they gave the shield his logo as well, aside from the belt. And... Um, Love what they did with the metal on the legs. If you notice the legs and the arms, he's just he's just so massive there because you can tell that he's well armored and ready, ready for any fight. Uh, for for those of you that don't know, ta this Taskmaster came with a sword and a shield. The gun that I added over here on this side, that, that was just something I decided to add because the colors matched them and it fit them well. Uh, but this is what the Taskmaster... Uh, looks with the white hoodie. Uh, here, you see more of a skeleton kind of face of Taskmaster. If you ask me, I like this head sculpt a little bit more because it just looks, he looks more uh, scary, more vicious, um, and he definitely looks uh, like an opponent, uh, someone that I definitely wouldn't want to fight. Uh, Taskmaster, like I said, can manipulate any kind of form of fighting, any kind of skill. Um, so unless he can't uh, quite study you or have you down packed, um, you're pretty much a done deal. So this is a really, really cool Taskmaster. This is by Marvel Legends Hasbro, and this is from the Builder figure, Red Skull. All right, guys, this next Taskmaster is really cool because this is more of the traditional look to Taskmaster. This is by Marvel Legends, and this is from the Builder figure Thanos. Um, so he comes with one of the uh, Thanos uh, parts. And what I like about this Taskmaster is that they gave him his traditional outfit. There you can see um, the head sculpt, getting directly into the head sculpt. It looks um, more skeleton-like, which is normally how you used to see Taskmaster, especially in the comic books. Um, and for those of you that don't know, this is Tony Masters. Uh, Taskmaster is known as Tony Masters. And ever since he was a young kid, he was able to like manipulate moves very well. Um, that's something he just studied and it stuck with him. So um, what I like about this figure is that looking directly into it, they gave him the orange there on the ch top of the chest piece and the white. He has the traditional white and orange cape with the gold right there trimming on the top, which looks really cool. And he has the navy blue and the orange arms there, which is like a half navy blue, half orange on the arms. And then, of course, the logo of the Taskmaster on the shield, which is really, really cool. Now, going into a little bit more of the features, um, like what they did with the belt there, um, there you can tell the buckle is gold 
but it does have the Taskmaster uh, logo on it. And of course, he has a bunch of uh, brown uh, compartments there on the belt. And he also has some brown straps on the right leg there, which is a pistol holster um, for the gun that he's carrying, which is a gold uh, gun there that he has. So that's pretty cool. Like the like the accessory that they gave him as far as the gun, but definitely love the sword. Um, that's what I would probably put him out with if I ever had him uh, on display. I, I'd rather put him out on the sword because he's a He's, you know, he he's a good swordsman and definitely uh, one to fight pretty much anyone. And normally what he uses or his weapon of choice would be a sword. Uh, so this is the Taskmaster. And what they did with the sword there, love the handle with the gold. And of course, the silver uh, blade. That was a nice touch to this Taskmaster. And this Taskmaster is by Marvel Legends Hasbro. Um, and this is from the Builder figure Thanos. Mm. All right, guys. So the next uh, Taskmaster that I want to talk about um, to pay tribute to Toy Biz, the originator of Marvel Legends, is the Taskmaster that came out. Uh, this is the legendary rider from Series Eleven, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this is a really, really cool Taskmaster. Uh, looks a little bit different from the new Hasbro one. But he is in the traditional costume there, um, getting directly into the head sculpt. The head sculpt is almost an all white with black lining there. Uh, very skeleton-like. The eyes are white as well. Um, this is definitely how you saw him in the earlier stages of the comic books. And um, if you look at the hoodie there, uh, the hoodie on the very top, you can notice it has a little bit of like that baby blue and white. Um, on the hoodie you might not be able to see that as well but um, yeah it has some some shades of uh, baby blue and white now what they did with this cape as you can tell it's mainly white but the in the inside there uh, is orange and then of course they did a little bit of the gold trimming on the top there of the chest piece you see the gold trimming to hold up the, the cape um, Getting a little bit more into detail, this one, this Taskmaster came with uh, three weapons and a shield and also came with the legendary rider glider that you see there. That glider he comes with, that's one of his accessories. Um, <clears throat> you see that uh, a couple of times in the comics as well. But what I like about this Taskmaster, he, this Taskmaster, which none of them have dropped, um, Hasbro didn't do him with the cane. There you see Taskmaster has a cane. I put it over here. It's being held by the st brown strap there. Um, and that's one of the accessories that um, the, new, the new Taskmasters do not have. But the sword, getting directly into it, is a real feel sword. If you look there, it has, uh, it's gold. The handle is gold. But it has almost like navy blue gems on the side of the sword. And then, of course, the blade is silver. Um, I like what they did with the shield. Like always, they gave him the logo on the shield. And that's a really nice touch. It has like a royal blue and almost like a gold in the center. And then on the side here, uh, you might not be able to see it, but he has here the holster for the sword. And then he has the pistol there. Um, if you could zoom in a bit. Uh, you can see the pistol back there, and that's the pistol, and the, um, of course, the holster for that pistol is brown, and they definitely gave him just a bunch of accessories. His arms are uh, two-toned as well. It's orange and navy blue, and then getting a little bit into the boots, uh, they're white, and then they have a little bit of shades of that baby blue as well. This is um, a really, really cool figure. Uh, one of the reasons why I like what Toy Biz did with this Taskmaster is because they just gave him so many accessories. They gave him the sword, they gave him the cane, then they gave him the pistol on the side holster, and of course he came with the legendary glider. Getting into that, uh, really, really cool. The legendary glider there has uh, two compartments for him to store his feet when you put him on it. And 
right th right there you can tell it has something to hold it up uh, they put it almost like a stonish uh, metallic blue down there just to hold the glider up um, and that was a nice touch to it so one other thing, the last accessory here, is that they gave it a strap. So if you ever need to hold Taskmaster in, you could put that strap on him and that should hold him uh, on the glider. So you could do a lot of things. Uh, extremely posable, this Taskmaster. Uh, the, only, the only thing is that um, it's a little bit more difficult to pose when you have a cape. Uh, the cape... Uh, is not as flexible so when you do pose them you might have to move the cape a certain way but aside from that really really nice job done by toy biz this is the old school taskmaster from the legendary writer series 11 all right guys so this is the episode on the taskmasters from uh, hasbro and toy biz i hope you guys enjoyed definitely uh please subscribe Hit that bell for the next notification and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.